Timmy Geneva, 314 games, 302 goals for the Port Adelaide Magpies. And, mate, we've woken up this morning with the news that we get to wear those bars again. How does it feel being a past player, a coach, being so heavily involved in an amazing club, hearing that news? Uh, it was awesome. It was really good, Jordan. I, um, I I sort of had faith that it was going to happen one day and, and uh, some logic would work its way through, and eventually it has. So, look, it's very pleasing, and I'm probably, you know, one of the people that realised we wanted to get into the best competition. We understood that we weren't going to be able to go in as we were, so we'd sacrificed, you know, um, the magpies, We've sacrificed the Guernsey. So we've sacrificed a lot of things. And I think we've got ourselves to a pretty good spot. I love the Guernsey that was designed um, by a nine-year-old girl, which is fantastic. And I love what, you know, us wearing that in the AFL. But this is a real, a real important step just to be able to say, yeah, that's who we we were. That, and that's who got us here today. And it's a nice tip of the hat, I think, to be able to do that in, in a showdown. Yeah, of course. Now, I've got a poster behind me there with the 100 moments of the millennium. You're on there uh, somewhere. I tried to find you before, couldn't quite get the number. as a sub, But you've done so much amazing things for the club. Let's talk about the future of it in regards to what we have currently sitting with us in the team. What are you thinking in regards to this year heading into it? Uh, look, you know, talking with a few of the coaches in Ken during the week, they were really pleased with the whole pre-season it didn't come to fruition in those two trial games. We, we didn't see um, probably the benefits of what they believe was a really good pre-season. So that was disappointing, um, but we didn't lose any points over it. So that's fantastic. So that's important. Um, we, we still appear to have that problem inside 50, and we've got to fix it. There was moments last year where I thought we were excellent inside 50, and, you know, some games getting anywhere upwards of 15, 16 in marks inside 50. So we can do it. We just got to get back probably watching those games and go, how did we do it? We've got to try and repeat that that effort. So um, I know speaking with Kendra in the week, he said there was a few players that he felt were either underdone or not in the team that um, could improve that. So they'll have to get that right in the short space of time before we play uh, next Saturday. So, yeah, but I, I'm... I'm optimistic that we'll have a far better season than last year. I think we'll make the eight. Um, and I think we'll be sitting around that sort of 13, 14 wins to, to get there. Well, we're already kicking goals with the announcement this morning and I'm pretty sure there'll be plenty of great things for us to come throughout the year. As a fan, yourself and myself a fan, uh, we've got definitely what we need to succeed. Uh, and we're going to hopefully get that top, top, top moment, as our song states. Uh, what yeah. do you what do you reckon uh, in regards to RSA NFL boys? That season's about to kick off. They get the opportunity to win those, uh, to wear those bars. Um, firstly, how do you think they're feeling about the AFL guys uh, donning the bars? And then how's their season going to go? Yeah, I, I think everybody will want to play that game and play inside the, the jumper. It, it really did, you know, the times we've worn it, I, I think two in particular were the showdown during COVID. Um, always played unbelievably that night. Um, and just were jumping out their skin. The time we wore it, where it was, we were told we weren't allowed to wear our home strip against Richmond in the final in 2014. It's probably the pinnacle of the way we've played in it in the AFL. So I'd love to see that sort of um, repeat effort in in the Guernsey in the in the showdown. So I think it's given us a real impetus too. I think where you know we might have been going in perhaps. Um, from a supporter point of view, a, a bit cautious. I think this has given us a real impetus and a real buzz around that, you know, wow, we're going to be wearing this and the boys love wearing it and they perform in it. Yeah. And uh, this SANFL squad, you think they'll go well this year? Um, what's it? What's the word around the uh, the squad? It's, it, you know, it, it always depends on the health of your list. If the, if the list is healthy, you, you normally translate that into to win losses and, that's going to be very important for us this year. We're going to be tall, I can tell you that. There's a lot of tall blokes on our list that will probably not start in the first couple of rounds that will be playing uh, at, at the Maggie. So we're going to be tall. and that, That's going to be good in the early rounds too when it's nice and dry and the like. So, yeah, we'll have you know, blokes like Byzantini and probably, you know, even Hayes and Tickle and 
they're all giants over 200 centimeters young Ollie lord so yeah it's going to be it's going to be good but i think yeah keep that list healthy that'll be a very strong outfit yeah not only uh it's good for now it's good for the future you mentioned in those name with lords and vincentini um we can't wait to see what they achieve and of course with our boys i'd like to thank you for having this chat just about what it means to you the colors um that we're going to wear on at that round three clash against the crows uh, hopefully we don't get a repeat. That was just a freak accident. What happened to us last year? Um, but we should go enough of what we've done in in training, as you stated. Ha- have a good year for us, and thank you very much, mate, for joining me and uh, and having. No, that's all right. I can tell you, Jordan. Just one thing before you go is that um, I knew that something good was going to happen today because last night uh, I was in charge of dinner, so I naturally went straight down to Port Pizza Bar and uh came back with the meal and when we opened it up i could not believe what i saw this was the pizza box i can show you that side for pizza bar right yeah, yeah. When, we opened, when we opened it up that was on it oh look can I, you believe it oh it, <laughs> it was a, a sign my friend it is <laughs> did the pizza taste good and have they have they actually put on the menu a Geneva yet or a, a timmy name a pizza else it, they said they tried, but there was there was too many ingredients. <laughs> oh, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, what, what That's you a legendary one. Now, I love that. How the box looks, mate. You need to put it so that it sits underneath you. There we are. That's what we need. How good's that? <laughs> Tim Jinnab is done in the bars again. Thank Back you for the hay, though. I love it. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. No dramas, Joey.